18 month nat nationwide investigation by the Guardian reveals for the first time what really happens at Journey's End. Nice. Whoa, that sounds like a M. Night Shyamalan movie, right? They kill a bunch of homeless people, like Satan's involved. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they just move them away. Where do they sit? Where do they ship them? I don't know. I Looks like they're Tennessee. throwing them down in Miami and in LA. <laughs> <sighs> when I lived in Colorado, in Colorado, people would, the homeless people would commit crimes. They figured out what crimes they would get 60 days for. And they would commit that crime. Plead guilty due to 60 days just to get out of the winter. Mm. Because in those days, Boulder would give you tobacco. You were allowed. They would give you tobacco, but you had to roll it. That, that, really? That type of shit. Yeah, Boulder County Jail. In 1991, Boulder County Jail and some other jail were voted number one in two jails in the country. Wow. That people would want to go to those jails. Then Boulder built a new jail, and it became fucking communist land, like Aspen. Communist was, land? What do you yeah, mean? like no cigarettes. Everybody had to wear oh. uniforms. Oh. No more staying up till two in the morning. When what I was, was wrong in, with the other way? Boulder County Jail. The way what was good? The good way. Oh, Boulder County Jail was a paradise. Well, what was wrong with that? It got out. It got out that it was too nice. Right. So, like, I'm telling you, homeless people would commit a crime to do 60 days. Can I ask you something about this? Go As ahead. a person who's been in jail, Go ahead. would it motivate you more? This is an honest question. Would it motivate you more if you were in jail and it was nice and comfortable in there and you got to relax and calm down? Or would it motivate you more if they brought you into some communist type jail, as you described it? Where everybody had to wear uniforms. There was no cigarettes. There was no fun. They limited your outside time. What would, I, I, what did, would, I did them both. What would what I what do you think as a person who's been through what would be most effective in rehabilitating you? I mean that's the idea, right? I Is don't to punish give a and rehabilitate. If right now you said to me you, you got to stay in this fucking building for 6 months. This is going to be your jail. This is like Pablo Escobar's jail. It's still jail. I want you to remember that. Right. You cannot leave the building for 6 months. I will let you go out to the front in a cage one hour a day. But you got to figure out what you're going to do in here for 12 months. It's a cage. Yes, I have more options here. I can lift weights. I can do different parts of my body. I could shoot pool, blah, 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 blah. Boulder was very simple. Boulder, you got locked up. They gave you linens. You either took them or you didn't. Now I want to get my own clothes. So you called home. At lunchtime, Joe Rogan brought me my jeans, my sneakers, my T-shirts. I'm wearing my own clothes. So now they determine what you are in for, nonviolent or violent. If you're a nonviolent offender, you, the world is yours. The violent ones are the ones that get lumped okay, in with the other so, violent ones. So now the violent offenders, uh, depending on what you do as violent, you go into one sector. And that sector, the longer you're in there, the more rewards you get. So if you're in green, you stay up till 10, and they got cable TV. If you're red, you stay up till 11, and they got cable TV. If you're purple, you stay up till 1. 1 a.m. Oh, my God. Boulder County Jail was tremendous. 1 a.m. and so TV. I so and I, didn't, I didn't drink milk. Milk is big in jail. Because the bodybuilders like milk. It's like fucking drugs. Really? So I would trade you and you my milk for your Kool-Aid. <laughs> All right? So I was in there drinking fucking Kool-Aids and shit <laughs> because I fucking hate uh, milk. Boulder was a paradise compared to other jails. Oh, listen to this. Thanksgiving Day. When I was I locked up Thanksgiving Day? Yeah. The guard came in. And I'll never forget his name was Ron. And he opened up the cell door, and there was a phone there. And he goes, anybody who needs to use the phone, use the phone. I figured out, you know, in those days you had to press 9 to get an outside line. I pressed 8 to see if I get long distance, nothing. I pressed 7, nothing. 6, nothing. 5, nothing. 4, fucking long distance. I got to call my peeps in Jersey for 20 minutes apiece. You know, you just figure out different things. Then they send you to a place where... 
somebody looks you in the eye and says, strip down, and you got to go take a shower, and then you come out, and they put a finger up your ass to see if you got contraband. Hmm. And they they give you tidy whities and an orange jumpsuit. So they put, like, a rubber glove on and then lube yeah. their finger up? It doesn't matter. It does. At that point, I didn't give a fuck. You're putting a finger up my ass. Is it, it breaks you down as a man as much as anything in the world. That, that's the first breakdown. Wow. To turn you around, to let you know they run you. They're going to stick it up your ass. Then you go to your cell, and that those guys in there are not very nice. They weren't like the Boulder County Jail guys. Those guys would kick your bed and make you get up, turn your light on in the middle of the night, and say, get out of bed, we're going to do a search at 2 in the morning. Those people are not nice at all. Then I got transferred to Summit County Jail which was a fucking paradise, 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 handball all day outside, TV till 2 in the morning, TVs really? in your cell, black and white TVs in your cell, basic cable, you could be up all night, you could, you, wow. if you wanted to go to breakfast, you ate breakfast, if not, you could sleep through breakfast and we'd eat your breakfast for you, and then from there they shipped me off to the Department of Corrections. That's where it's the nitty gritty. If you think black people talk at a movie theater at night, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Black people talk all night. It's six or seven floors, and I was in there in August with full humidity in Canyon City, Colorado. Wow. All right, with a little window, you know, and I was like on the third floor. I couldn't breathe. And in those days, they let you out. You took two showers a week, and one hour a day you went outside. After that, you were just in the cell by yourself. And at night it froze, in the daytime it was like fucking being sweating uh, in a fucking uh, tin can. You were in a tin can in the daytime. That no air was, conditioning. No, oh, shit. <laughs> There's nothing. Two showers. And then the three meals, and then that, and then the the first week is good because you actually get out of your cell to go test. They test you everything, your math, your English. They fucking put a bunch of pictures in front of you. They put you through psychiatry. They take your blood out. They do everything, and then they assess you. And then they have. I took care of all the the dots. Okay, there's a bunch of dots you have to you have to dot your eyes. Like if you have a high school diploma, you get a point. If you were working at the time of arrest, you get a point. If you were up to paying rent. So I got a bunch of points for that. It's so funny how 